So, you know, I love walking through hardware stores, you know, the Home Depot or, you know, Ace or wherever. And I love finding little tools that help make people's lives easier. And the other thing I like to do is look for tools that are not that expensive. And I found one today. What's up, everybody? My name's Clint, and this is the Tool Review Zone channel. Now, if you like tool reviews or cool tools like we're about to show you here, get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Now, you might be a beginner woodworker. You might not have a lot of money for expensive tools, such as a biscuit joiner or whatever. So this is why I want to bring this tool to the channel. Now, we have nothing to do with this tool. You know, the brand, they have no idea we're making this video. I bought this with my own money, blah, 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 blah. But this is called a Dow jig. I paid around $30 for this at the Home Depot. I was just walking by. I seen it a couple of times when I've been up at the store. And I said, you know what? I'm going to grab this thing and I'm going to see if it works. Now, usually I use a Craig jig, but there's issues with Craig jigs. You know, you're trying to build shelving, you got the pocket holes in the back, and you gotta fix those up, you gotta hide them. Sometimes things pull the wrong way if you're not situated correctly and it just doesn't look good. So a dowel is a really good way to do some really clean woodworking, hide all of your anchor points, you don't even know anything's holding anything together really. It just looks really good. So I figured, let's try it. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna show you how this dowel jig works. And don't get me wrong, there are hundreds, if not thousands of different dowel jigs on the market. So, you know, if you don't like this one, there are other ones out there. I'm just showing you one that I had at my local deeps and we're gonna use it. I'll put a link in the description below if you like this one. But again, there are many, many more on the market. All right, so let's take a look and see what we're actually going to get in the package. Now in the back, you're going to get some dowels. You're going to get the tool itself, which I am going to show you how to use. You are going to get three brad point drill bits and drill stops, as well as the dowel center pins. And these are good for quarter inch, five sixteenth, and three eighth joint sizes. Now, I also picked up some extra dowels. These are quarter inch, and we'll use these today as well. Now, today I got two pieces of scrap shelving. I'm not gonna use this anymore, so I think this is going to be perfect for our test. It's pretty cheap and a lot of people use this for shelving or whatever else you're making. Now, what a lot of people wanna do is either butt something up like this or up on top. Now, before we can use a jig, we gotta measure this out and make sure that our dowels are going to line up. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take my square, I'll bring this over here, and this is exactly where I want it. All right, so now what we gotta do is draw our line across the boards. This is where our dowels are going to line up and meet with each other. So you wanna make sure that it's nice and square. And we're gonna go all the way across because you need to be able to see that line. So go a little bit further than what you need to go. Bring it down, this will be the middle. If you have to put these in a clamp, go ahead and do that. And there is our third. All right, now what's cool about this is there's an arrow here, here, and here, basically right in front of each one of these holes. So this is gonna tell me I need to line this arrow up with the line that I just drew with my pencil on the wood. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, now this is where the jig comes in. Now, I wanna show you something here. You're gonna need the jig and you're gonna need this stock collet. Remember, these dowels right here, they were one inch, one sixteenth. So we're gonna have to divide this we're gonna put those in there like so. But you can see there is a bolt right here that we're going to have to loosen and tighten down. This is going to go right over your quarter inch drill bit or whatever drill bit you're using. Remember, there's different sizes, but we're using the quarter inch, so we gotta use this lock stop right here. Now, one way I found this to be a little bit easier to measure is just bringing in your square and coming in like that and finding out where the tip of this, not the pointy end of the bit, but where it's going to stop cutting ends and we're looking for a half an inch. So right there, we should be perfect. We're going to want to come straight down on top of that. So let me tighten this in a little bit. This is where we're gonna tighten it. And then we're gonna line up our little arrow right here on top of that line. That's why you wanna go down a little bit further. So let's tighten this down. All right, you should be able to see that we have our arrow right here directly lined up with the line that we put down with our square. So now all we have to do is take our drill bit and now we're ready to go. This will automatically stop once you hit that stopping point. 
We're just gonna slide this down. All right, we adjusted our bit, made it just a 16th of an inch longer. Now we're gonna go down on this side. FYI, we just did a review on this new Milwaukee sweeper here. Check this out. Yep, I think they're gonna be just fine. So this is where your holding power comes in. It's the glue. So we're gonna put a little bit here. All right, one. We're gonna bring a little bead down here, two. A little bead down here, three. This in here, like so. If you have a mallet, you can smack that in. If I don't forgot mine, that in there like so. And then the third one, nice tight fit. Now we're gonna run a little bit of glue down in these holes as well. Here we go. Oh, this one needs to go over a little bit. Oh, baby. And now we're just gonna let it dry. All right, so while that is drying out, just to let you know, if I wanted to come down this way, I can do the exact same thing that I did, except for I would have to use this other side of the jig. I'd use it right here up on top instead of the side like this. And I wouldn't want to go too far down. So I would go a quarter of an inch down into the wood here. And maybe maybe a little over three quarters of an inch up here. That way when it sits down in, it'll get a nice grip up on top and it won't come through the other side on the bottom. All right, so I let this dry for a couple hours and it is solid. It is a really nice fit. And what's cool about this here is that it is completely flat. Don't have to worry about this Craig jigs pulling it up to one side and sort of bowing it a little bit. It is just a super strong grab. And if I had a finished blade on here, well, it would look even better, but it's nice and smooth up on top. If I had that finished blade, I wouldn't even really see a crease right here. It's just an all around nice system, the dowel system. I like it and I think I'm really going to start using it a lot more. Now that said, is this the best jig out there? No, not by far. There are more expensive. And again, you could use a biscuit joiner, which is a lot faster and would do something pretty much the same. You would use the biscuit joints or the biscuits, but you're paying a lot more money for that machine. All in all, it's built pretty well. I'm actually surprised with how solid this is. The dowels are really cheap. So there you have it. That's how to use a really cheap jig if you're just starting out in woodworking or you're just trying to make it a hobby. Or maybe you're somebody that wants to take it a little bit more serious. You just don't have that extra cash to go out and buy a biscuit joiner or something else a little bit more expensive. Try this out. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty good jig for the price. And once you get the hang of it and you don't have a camera in your face trying to angle all the positions, it will go a lot faster. Now, I want to know what you think. Have you tried this specific jig or something like it? What do you think about them? Is there something better out there that you've tried to get those boards nice and lined up that we don't know about? Leave a comment in the comment section below. We love hearing your feedback and what's on your mind. And if you like this video, please sneeze that like button. <laughs> It's greatly appreciated. If you like videos like this, don't forget to get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.